Hello, welcome back to another video. I know I have been MIA for like two weeks now. Not gonna lie, I went through a little bit of a, not, not funk, cause I've actually been feeling okay, but just kind of like lack of motivation to pick up the camera. I haven't been feeling super creative and I haven't really been feeling really drawn to making YouTube videos right now. Um, or over the past couple weeks, obviously I'm feeling drawn back to it now, but um, I've been doing YouTube for years now and I think this is like the second time that I have, you know, not posted a video for like more than a week. So it's a lot to keep up with and I just don't always feel like picking up the camera and talking and I don't always have ideas and I felt like I had filmed a vlog and there wasn't enough footage and I felt like it was boring and I just didn't, I don't know, I didn't feel like I wanted to put that out for you guys and I wanted to feel good and actually have something to talk about before I picked up the camera. So hopefully I can get back into my good um, YouTube and vlogging routine. Um, so we're gonna start that today. Today is Tuesday, May 10th, it's 1245. I'm actually parked outside of uh, Club Pilates. I'm not sure if you guys have heard of it, but um, they do a first session, like 30 minute session um, for free. So you can try Pilates out and see if you like it. It's pretty expensive to get a membership. So hopefully I like it. I've never tried Pilates before and I'm really looking forward to it. So we're gonna do that today. I'll let you guys know how it goes afterwards. Um, I think I'm gonna first buy, if I do like it, I'll buy a package of like four classes and that's like $89. And then an unlimited membership, I believe is like $200 a month, which is a lot. But David and I haven't paid for gym memberships in years. Um, we haven't need, needed one since living in California and we didn't need one in New Mexico because we worked out on base. So I'm kind of thinking like maybe Pilates will be another, you know, outlet for exercise for me or like supplement workouts. Also, it's like really great for your core and balance and mobility and all of that. So all of those things help with weight training and any other activity you do in your life. And I would really love to like strengthen my core and stuff. So I hope I like it. Um, I need to go ahead and head in because they told me to get here early so I can fill out like a waiver, like paperwork or whatever. Um, so I'm going to do that, but I'll let you guys know how it goes. Okay. I just got done. I freaking loved it. The place is so nice. The instructor was so nice. All the ladies that were working there were so sweet. And like actually girls that I could see myself becoming friends with if I, you know, stay here for a while. It's very expensive. I think I mentioned that before, but I did sign up for a four pack. Here's the thing though, and I'm giving you guys all this financial information in case you've ever wanted to do Club Pilates and sign up for it. So online it'll say like the four pack was like 89 or something, 89 to like 110. The four pack here is 109. You have to sign up for three months minimum. So 109 a month for three months and there is a $60 sign up fee that locks you into the price that, the current price. So their prices were about to go up to 120. By paying the 60, I'm locked into whatever their current price is for any package now. So I'll probably end up doing the unlimited, which is 229 a month, which is a lot. I mean, I don't think for one second that this is like a super affordable thing for everybody. I really don't. Anyway, it's really expensive, but I felt so good being there and I loved like using the reformer machine. I just loved it. Yeah, it felt great. And I can tell that those like small pulsing motions that you do during a workout, oh my gosh, they freaking burn. Like I can tell that I'm definitely going to be like tightening like every little muscle in my body. So I'm excited. I can't wait for my next class. But also I was telling, um, texting David saying that I don't get a lot of chances to like go out and like be around other people or like, you know, as you get older, it's just, you find less opportunities, especially since I'm not in an office and I'm not in a workplace. You find very few opportunities to meet new people and um, just to get out and like be around people and maybe there's someone that I'm gonna see all the time that's like in a class, just to have like someone to chat with or potentially go get like dinner or coffee with or 
you know, just have a conversation with another person during the day that's not David um, would be great. So the social aspect of it is really drawing me to it, but also just the workouts and like having something like that to look forward to and like get out of the house for and everything um, makes me excited. So I will keep you all updated on that. Um, I think for the rest of the day, I am just going to hang out. I might actually go to the gym and like do some cardio and stuff because that was such a short workout. Um, but yeah. If I do anything else exciting today, I will make sure to pick up my camera. Good morning, guys. It is almost 9 o'clock on Wednesday, May 11th. Obviously, I still have my PJs on. And you guys, I'm wearing one of David's shirts. I know he loves this shirt. And I accidentally got toothpaste powder all over it last night. And I think it stained it. So I'll be washing it and then hiding it in my, um, on my side of the dresser so that he just hopefully forgets about it and never finds out. Um, I am making breakfast right now. I'm just having one scoop of organic chocolate protein. And then I'm making a breakfast sandwich with Trader Joe's whole grain bread or multi-grain bread, some spring mix, um, this buffalo sauce I told you guys about by Primal Kitchen that is so delicious. That's gonna be like my dressing on the, sa on the sandwich and then I have some vegan bacon and one of the just egg like folded vegan eggs and some cheese and I washed some organic blueberries so that's gonna be the breakfast today yeah look I got little stains on it I hope they come out but I think the toothpaste like kind of bleached the shirt and I'm gonna melt a piece of follow your heart smoked gouda cheese on top while I toast some bread I'm actually donating plasma today, randomly. One of my friends did it recently and she was like, yeah, it was super easy, um, it was a nice place, and I got like 200 bucks, and I was like, oh, I could do that. Um, it's for a good cause, and like, if I just have to like sit there and like donate plasma for like an hour in exchange for like a little extra cash, why not? Especially since that Pilates sign up is so expensive, you guys, I don't know if I updated y'all. Um, I think I was like, oh, I hope, you know, David doesn't mind that I signed up for this. I didn't think he actually would, but you know, when you are financial partners, you share everything. You wanna make sure that any, basically like any purchase that's over like a hundred bucks, I'm just like, hey, like, are we good this month for this? Is it in our budget, whatever. I've, I haven't been told no yet, but it's like my own, weird things about money that I like can't, I just don't feel good about it unless I know for sure. Even though I know we're good, I don't know, it's weird. I think um, any of you who like, when you were younger, your parents, you know, discussed money in front of you or around you or like, I'm 30, so we went through that whole like 2008 to like, when was it? Like 2009, 10 recession timeframe where everybody was struggling and people losing their jobs. And we were like a middle-class family, so that definitely affected us. And like, I'm telling you guys, that whole like mindset about money and talking about money and like, oh, what are we gonna do about money? Freaks me out. David and I have never had those issues thank the lord we are truly truly blessed but for whatever reason like in my mind i just get really anxious about spending too much especially when i'm not the one that looks at the budget and looks at the um accounts every day so when i do that i'm like are you sure it's okay and he's like shelby it's fine like we're fine but anyway so in my mind still you guys i'm like oh well if i can um make like a hundred bucks to like make up for what i spent yesterday I'm, I'm only doing that to myself, but it's also a really good cause. You obviously, you know, donating blood and plasma is like helpful. And, but anyway, I'm just sharing, sharing with y'all like all my random weird anxieties that I have about stuff that I shouldn't even be anxious about. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm really weird about money. Um, and like always worrying like, am I spending too much? Do we have enough? Even though I know we'd, we're good. <laughs> and David's constantly having to remind me like, relax, we're good. Um, I don't know. If that's just me, it's just me. But if you have that issue too, where like, yeah, you just can't stop making your mind run about money anxiety, please let me know. Um, 
Anyway, yeah, so I'm gonna finish making this sandwich. I'm supposed to have like a pretty big meal. And then also in here I have a liquid IV for some extra um, electrolytes. And they say to have like a salty snack before. The protein shake with some oat milk water, breakfast sandwich, and blueberries. And I'll probably have another snack before I go. Um, my appointment's not until 12 and I have to drop off Phoebe at the vet at 11 because she's had a really upset stomach. I won't go into detail because it's disgusting for like today is day four. So, and I've tried all the things you're supposed to do. She's not getting better. So I'm going to go drop her off and then go over and donate plasma. And then hopefully she'll be done. Go pick her up. And then I think I'm going to chill for the day depending on how I feel after donating. All right, I just got done donating plasma. I donated at BioLife Plasma Services. Um, that was my first time donating plasma. I've done blood draws and donated blood a few times, but that was a different experience. That took forever. My appointment was at 12. I went ahead and walked in there at like 11.45 because I'm a new donor and I figured there'd be like paperwork and stuff, but I wasn't expecting there to be, like it's almost three o'clock now and I'm just now leaving. I didn't expect there to be like that much um, stuff you had to do to be able to donate. They do like a long questionnaire, they poke your finger, um, check your iron levels, your protein levels, they weigh you, They you have to bring your social security card, proof of, addre proof of address, and your driver's license or like ID or whatever. Um, and then they do like a physical, which they just like checking your breathing and your eyes and your ears and like do like palpitations on your stomach, make sure there's like nothing painful, whatever. And then you finally go to donate. And um, for me doing things that are new and like when they read you all the side effects and stuff, like in my mind, I think that like, one of those things is going to happen to me. I'm already very, very like hyper aware of my body, what's going on with my body. I can tell when the slightest thing is off. So when I'm sitting there, all I'm doing is just like head, shoulders, knees, and toes, you know, like full evaluation. How's everything feeling? The slightest tingle, I'm like starting to freak out. So when they first put the needle in, um, I had like this wave of like, kind of panic and anxiety and for anybody who's donated plasma or donates blood all the time or whatever like is good at this kind of stuff or doesn't have anxiety I'm probably sounds so dramatic but um there are multiple times where I'm like you know it's almost like I'm just like waiting for everything for something bad to happen so I'm like listening to every sound feeling every sensation I think the donation itself took like 35 minutes I was like seriously like pumping my arm to like try to get it over as fast as I possibly could and then I had to sit and wait for 15 minutes and now I'm finally leaving. Yeah, and then I got paid $110. Oh, I already have this in. $110 and they put it on like a MasterCard Visa thing. I don't know if you can like get that in cash or what I'm supposed to do with that. Obviously I can use it like the same way I would use any other like debit card or MasterCard, but like I would have preferred, like, I feel like I can get cash, but I don't know how to, I need to like read the little paper that they gave me. So you get, they have like a promotion going on right now where you donate the first time you get a hundred, second time's like 130, third time's like 110 or 130. And then it's like 95, 95, 100, whatever. Basically you donate eight times and it adds up to $900. And you have to have it done by like June 7th or 10th or something. And it is currently May 11th. So in a little bit less, well I guess right out of month you have to donate eight times. I don't know that I'm gonna do all that. I'll probably donate like one or two more times because I didn't love the experience. I mean, it's not enjoyable. Who loves donating plasma? I don't know, but yeah, we'll see. I wanna go a second time because now I have a feel of it. It wouldn't be new anymore and I would have like a sense of the place and like what to expect. Anyway, that is my 
first plasma donation um, experience. It's funny because I did a Pilates, Pilates and Plasma. That's the vlog. That should be the title of this vlog is Pilates and Plasma. Um, and my first experiences with both. So I'm still waiting to hear back from the vet. I haven't, they haven't called me yet to say if Phoebe's ready or like given me any updates or anything, but I ordered her a probiotic today. Now that I'm saying this, I don't remember if I even told you guys in the vlog that I dropped Phoebe off at the vet because she's had like diarrhea for a few days. Maybe I explained that, I don't know. I haven't had any caffeine and I feel a little bit depleted right now and a little tired. So I'm definitely gonna relax for the rest of the evening. Um, and then tomorrow, I'm probably gonna vlog tomorrow as well because I'll do some more exciting stuff, hopefully. Hello guys, today is Thursday, May 12th. Um, it's like 11.30 right now and I am just doing a bunch of content today. So I just filmed like um, a couple of before the transition videos on TikTok and then I'm gonna get ready and then like finish filming those. Um, but I'm also gonna film my makeup that I've been doing lately. I think I've had it, yeah, I had it on yesterday. Just like a very quick kind of clean girl without that clean girl face makeup, if that makes sense. Like clean girl aesthetic is like, you know, really simple, hydrating, glowy makeup. But a lot of the girls that show how to do that makeup, they have perfectly bushy eyebrows and perfect skin and like they're already naturally glowy and gorgeous. Um, I have very thin eyebrows, I have freckles, I have a little bit of acne. Um, yeah, so I don't have that like perfect clean girl face. But that doesn't mean that you can't have like that clean girl aesthetic or like do the makeup and you know, just for some girls they have to do uh, very minimal. But like for me, it's almost like, like half a full face makeup to achieve that kind of natural look. Anyway, so I'm doing that for um, TikTok and Instagram as well. And then I'm gonna film my wavy hair tutorial. Um, and then hopefully get one more like how to style um, this outfit that I have over here um, video done. And all of that needs to be done in like two and a half hours because my Pilates class is at 3.30. So actually, you know, I have like three hours until I need to leave for that. Um, yeah, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna set you guys up right here, but I am gonna be doing my makeup right here. Um, maybe I can actually put this, put you guys closer. So I won't be like talking directly to you, I apologize, but you'll still be able to see what I do and I'll have all the products either linked in the description box. No, they'll definitely be linked in the description box. Um, or I'll do like a voiceover explaining what I'm doing, but you'll be able to see, you know, and these are all the products that I've talked about in videos before, like it's all the same stuff that I use all the time. So I have a, my phone right here on a tripod with a ring light. Let's turn that on. Oh, there we go. So I'm going to get to filming. Um, yeah, I have a lot. I set a lot of goals for myself today and I'm hoping I can get them all done. I'm really excited for my Pilates class later. It's my first full class, um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I'm not talking in this video either. I'm probably gonna do a voiceover. It's just a lot faster that way, but let me get all my makeup out, all the things that I use. So I used to do this kind of makeup all the time and then, I don't know, I was shooting a lot of content there for a while, like every single day, so I was like doing a full face of makeup, but I've been doing this over the past um, week or so, and I just love it. Like, I feel so good wearing this makeup, and it's like very light, and um, yeah, not too much. It doesn't take too long, and like, it just looks good and fresh and like youthful. Um, yeah, so that's what we're going for. Oh, I think, I don't know if I've showed this in a vlog. It's definitely on my um, Instagram or whatever, but I got this uh, palette by Morphe. It's the Vava Va Bloom palette and it's so gorgeous. I love all these colors so much and like the purplish kind of pink um, tones look good on me personally because my eyes have, they're kind of hazel but they lean more green. Um, so it looks really good. Like it really, those colors really bring out the green in my eyes. So I've been loving that palette and it was like 20 bucks. So anyway, all right, I'm gonna get started.
Okay, now that the makeup's done, um, I love it. I love how this turns out. I love that you can still see all of my freckles on my nose, my forehead, and it just looks sun-kissed, summery, and I love it. So for my hair, I bought this at Target the other day. It's the Bedhead uh, Wave Artist. It's the one that looks like this. I love this so much, you guys. I'm like addicted to this hairstyle. Um, I don't even care that the last post I did, my hair was like this. It's just, it's so fun and it's so good. So yeah, I'm gonna do a tutorial on that now. First things first, heat protector. Next, I'm using the Kristen S Dry Finish Working Texture Spray. I love this, so good. take a little comb and part my hair straight down the middle. Okay, sorry, I ran out of space on my camera earlier and I just didn't have the time to like go through that stuff. I was in the middle of trying to film. Um, but yeah, this is how the hair comes out. This is like after, I did it like an hour ago and I put it up in these like little um, rubber bands. Um, and like I run my fingers through it a lot. So it just looks like a really like wavy beachy hair and it's like full and crazy because I add texture spray. I love it that way. Um, yeah, so I've just been filming. I did like three ways to style a white satin button down. Um, and then I went and took like an outfit reel of one of them. And then I did finish up the two TikToks and then I'll have the makeup thing, the hair thing. And then there was like one more thing that I was doing. I don't know. but. I'm starving, I think I'm done for the day. Um, I need to eat, just got back from taking the dogs out, and then get ready for the Pilates class. I'm so excited. So until then, I'm gonna have some lunch. I think I'm just gonna make like a sandwich, and then maybe like work on editing some stuff, but I might save that until tonight or tomorrow. Um, but yeah, successful day, got a lot done. And I think David's actually flying back. He's flying home tomorrow, he's in Nashville right now. I'm not sure if I mentioned that. He's in Nashville for work but his cousin lives there. They went to the Grand Ole Opry last night and they went out to dinner and stuff. Um, so I think he's gonna switch his flight to a later flight because his cousin doesn't have anything going on tomorrow. So they're gonna like hang out some more um, cause he doesn't know when he'll be able to see her next. So I think he'll be home late afternoon, which actually works out great for me because I'm just gonna do a ton more content, pictures and stuff. Um, and what I didn't get done today, I'll finish tomorrow. So pretty productive day so far. I'm gonna eat and then I'll check in with you guys before my Pilates, um, almost said appointment, Pilates class. is the lunch. I'm so excited. I cannot have a sandwich without something crunchy on the side. Let me know if you're the same way. Like I cannot eat a sandwich alone. It has to be like a bite of sandwich, a bite of a chip or something. And then the grapes just really tie it all together. So I'm going to eat this and then I'll check in with you guys before I leave for Pilates. All right. I just parked at club Pilates class starts in nine minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and go in put my socks on, put my stuff away, and I'll let you guys know how it goes. I parked in the garage since David's gone. So nice. Um, oh, hold on, I got a little jazz playing for the girls. Okay, so the first class went great. I loved it. 
Um, it wasn't crazy challenging, but just enough to where you feel like you're getting a really good workout. And the best part about it is I don't really do a lot of ab workouts, like ab dedicated workouts or exercises. And this involves a lot of core and a lot of like pulsing movements. And I love using the reform reformer machine. We had like some weights we were doing just some like resistance stuff. It was really great. I really, really enjoyed it. I like, I feel like tomorrow I'm going to be pretty freaking sore in a lot of different places. Yeah. So I loved it. I can't wait to go back. If you are interested in Pilates, I highly recommend club Pilates. I think it's, Probably more affordable than going to like a private studio since it's like a chain place. I feel like that's typically how it goes. Um, and I feel like I'll probably end up doing the unlimited membership so I can go like four times a week. Yeah, I loved it. It was really, really good. Um, I feel like I have a lot of footage on this video, so I'm going to go ahead and close it out. Oh, but before I do, I wanted to show you guys this. If you're on TikTok and you follow like, or I don't know, health like beauty stuff comes up on your for you page you may have seen people talking about cmos and how it's really amazing for you i guess it has like somewhere in the range of like 80 to 90 of the 100 something minerals that we have in our body so it's supposed to be really good for like your skin your energy your gut health anyway i ordered these i'll link them actually i'll put them on my storefront under like supplements and stuff this is well-crafted Irish sea moss with bladder rack, burdock, and black pepper extract. I had a lot of great reviews. I just took the first one today. I'm going to keep taking them every day. I think there's, uh, there's 60 capsules in here. So I'll take them every day and I'll keep you guys updated. But it's supposed to be like amazing. And also I've been drinking, um, I was doing this every day for a while but I'm getting back into like drinking my chlorophyll water, which number one tastes so good. I, if it's not linked, it will be linked by the time this video goes up. I also get this off Amazon. It's the benevolent liquid chlorophyll and it has like peppermint extract in it. So it tastes super, super good. Um, yeah. So just, you know, a few things to like boost my immune system and make my skin look better. And when I was using that consistently, my skin did look really, really good and your digestion is good. So both of these things are really great for that. So we'll see. I'll let you guys know. I'll update you on this, but I'm going to go ahead and close out this video. Sorry. I was off YouTube for so long. Hopefully you missed me and, um, I'm glad we got to hang out. So I will see you in the next video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye.